This is Sistema, and a lot of people think it's one of the weirder martial arts out there. So naturally, let's take a class. Okay, so first, the way we like to start in Sistema is you just lie flat on the ground and you relax. Oh, so one okay. of the aspects of Sistema is that we're trying to optimize for relaxed power. He just goes forwards, backwards. And as a bonus, I will know his scent forever. Yeah, it's not uncommon for people to think that Sistema stinks. Sorry, it's too easy. But no, really, this is an Instagram poll that I ran. And it's mostly because of clips like this that you'll find on the internet. But I had to know for myself, is it really that bad? <laughs> was it leg day yesterday? It feels like it was leg day yesterday. <laughs> for the next one, you go up against the wall. <laughs> hold on, uh, hold on. But he just walks up and down. And my job is to breathe, survive, relax. So if you press things first before you hit them, it's not as painful. So this is a way of kind of pre-tenderizing the meats before you punch them. As you get more advanced, you can step on the head, other stuff like that, but we won't do that today because it's a little bit extreme. Yeah, Glenn, wouldn't want to get too crazy. Can we go to the head on this one too, or? Oh, I just realized, this is Glenn Murphy. It's not Jason Satham, I know you're thinking it. He's going to be our instructor for this private lesson, but then also our class later this afternoon. And this is Sensei Endo. He is here because he wanted to watch me give it up. But first, Glenn had some more odd mobility training for us. If you get stuck, just... Breathe faster and move slower. And then you have to keep your arms straight and move it in whole circles right around the body. So your goal is put your arms out straight, leave your arms where they are. Now, these are super unique movements for mobility, and at this point, I'd, I'm kind of upside down about this whole situation. I feel like a baby at halftime in a basketball game. <laughs> <laughs> but no, really, I do feel more mobile, but I'm ready to start learning the techniques of Sistema. I'm supposed to move, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, so next we're going to look at a little bit of uh, striking and strike absorption. Right? Okay. There's lots of ways to absorb strikes. Right? One is just abs of steel. That's right. <laughs> so I have to time it, right? <laughs> or keep my abs tight the whole time. The second one is the, I'm not super well versed in it, so I'm not going to talk a lot, but you see people absorbing strikes with movement. <laughs> Third way, which we prefer, is with pressure. You create kind of a little bit of a wall of abdominal pressure, and then you let out the exact amount that the person punches you with. Okay. Right. Sounds weird. It it definitely sounds a little weird, um, but lots of stuff sounds weird without any context. <laughs> um, and then, uh, have a swing. Right, enjoy. Okay. So. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> you can get on that. <laughs> Good. Um, but the main thing is, is that I'm relaxed enough to do things after you hit me. <laughs> right, I can do things, leaving the body to take care of itself a little bit. Now, it's yeah. a bit different for the face. That's why we tend not to kind of defend the body that much with our arms in Sistema. We're yeah. just like, if I take one in the body, it's... I'll trade that for a headshot. Like, we don't care. Now, while Sistema loves these body absorptions, there's another side. They also supposedly have these super heavy punches. Imagine you've got kind of like a little bird's egg in there or something, right? Okay. So you, you make the fist. <laughs> if, you, if you squeeze it really tight, the knuckles come out of alignment a little bit. Sure. And then you have to choose, am I going to hit them with the first couple or yeah. am I going to hit them with the back? But for the most part, for Sistema, we're going to try and make contact with as many knuckles as possible. Okay. With, um, the whole fist. Okay. And we practice that on the wall. You can relax as much as possible while keeping a sturdy fist and wrist. Then this is not too bad. I'm not gonna. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My feet are very sweaty. Yeah. There's a tricky bit of floor. It was deceptively flat and unimpeding. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, when you hit people, you can get a bit brave sometimes. You're like, he's squishy. Squishy. To variable effects, right? And so I can afford I mean, to. Ask somebody to hit a wall and you see a, a very different punch. And um, this wall's a little bit <laughs> flimsy. I've gone through a few in my time, so I'm not gonna. Do you have a, a monster there. energy phase? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, hit the wall and yep. then hit the guy. And what you'll see is that you shape your fist and your arm in a slightly different way, right? And yeah. as I hit you, it feels <laughs> fairly robust, right? Because it's like, uh, I'm aligned behind it and like, this feels good. You know I see. So if yeah. My whole body is tense. Yeah. I'm like a board and you're pushing my I feel my like feet. I'm moving everything Yeah, at you're once. moving everything. Yes. I relax my waist and my chest. I relax my shoulder. Yeah. That's not fun. And I yeah. hit you for that. And it's, uh, <laughs> it's significant, right? <laughs> <laughs> that was very significant. Okay, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to push from my foot and move my hip with my foot. Okay. Right. right. This is the weird stuff when you see it online. People yes. are like doing all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, I could very easily clip just that. Yeah. Right? What I don't want to do is show you exactly how I'm hitting harder. To be fairly clear, this is not really our style. This is not the style that um, Vladimir Vasiliev teaches that much. Right. And stuff like it's There's different styles of Sistema. Okay. All I'm doing in this is letting the wave of momentum go all the way through my body. So instead okay. of trying to carry it all at once, yep. right, um, I basically move my hip with this and then I throw my chest and my shoulder. I feel stupid yep. doing it. I can, right, and it, it will go in, right? So it'll work, right? You pop my back. Okay, so that's hard. There's no denying that. That's a hard strike, right? Yeah. It's hard. How does it really feel compared to other kinds? Sinking. Yeah. Maybe you need another one. No, I feel like <laughs> I got that one. <laughs> um, I'm definitely a little shocked because that's, that's like one thing that you see it and you're like, oh. Looks like bullshit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, question, how do you apply that? 
mm -hmm. in like a moving around scenario. Do you spar with this kind of thing? Like, do you put on gloves and use these techniques? The moving targets are each other. We don't use focus mitts and okay. we don't use um, gloves typically. Because okay. again, we're trying to entrain this aspect of like, how do you um, the, keep solid the purity targets. of the contact. Yeah, and like, I don't want to get uh, too confident about my ability to just throw hard sure. hands and, yeah, then, yeah. and then break something and that sort okay. of stuff, right? So now, usually when people say stuff like this, it leads you to believe it's not the most applicable. But he was having a class later that day so I could try firsthand. And needless to say, it was interesting. It was a grappling-centric day for the class. We ended up doing a lot of this stuff, which, you know, it's not what I'm used to, but it fits the Sistema theme for sure. Uh, but then all of the stuff that we were doing, the rolling around, it started to turn into grappling. And just like that, my opinion of Sistema changed. Here's where things start to really get fun. Knife work with the grappler. That you like to make, which are great if I'm not armed, but once I'm armed, they become uh, not so great, right? I can stab him a lot, I can work, it's difficult. So he has to see how he can work. And as soon as I realize I'm gonna lose it, don't cling onto it and then get stabbed, ditch it and work immediately to try and get the knife back again. <laughs> Good, yes. Yeah. Right away. Sneaky player. Okay, so just work however you want to. Maybe a wee bit slower than that to begin with. And slower than that, we did go. I have tons of bruises from just getting poked and prodded by these not real knives, but. The, it, it adds a little pressure to the rolling, and it completely changes the way that you do things for sure. <laughs> hey, remember earlier when I questioned if they throw those kind of punches during class? They do, and they usually punch each other definitely way harder than they were punching me. I got a nice little taste of it, but nothing as bad as they do for sure. What makes Sistema like good? What makes Sistema bad? I think first and foremost, it's just like the honesty about what you're trying to achieve, right? There's a dishonesty sometimes with some people. Sure. You know I mean, about yeah. what they're doing versus what the actual results are. If you do intend to use Sistema to fight, you have to practice fighting, right? You yeah. have to, you have to pressure test, you have to wrestle with people full tilt. Sure. You have to um, spar with people in whatever means of restriction you say spar. If all you're doing is training very, very slowly and you yep. never speed up and you never go full tilt and, yep. and also you never work with anybody who hasn't done Sistema sure. in, in one on one fights, right? Sure. If that's what you want to use it for, sure. probably a bit delusional. But if you're training it for kind of a broad application, right? right. If you're training it for understanding yourself and yep. fear, More than escaping from crashed cars and other stuff like that, right? Yeah. It, you have to train for the thing you actually expect to do with it. That was amazing. I've had a ton of martial arts experiences. I've been doing it since I was three. Very rarely do you have a martial arts experience that you expect to be one thing, and it has such a wide range from what it actually is. When we look at stuff online, myself included, we tend to see what is shown to us as kind of like the whole. People who are doing phenomenally cool, I don't know, spinning flying leg locks, the context for them could be that's all they do. Did Sistema look a little goofy at times? Yes, 100%. But that was one of the more enjoyable classes, had some of the best information. Um, been one of the kindest rooms of people that I've been in. And honestly, I would say that changed my mind about Sistema. 